For the first time, streaming has officially overtaken cable TV. According to data from Nielsen, July was the first month ever Americans watched more content on services like Netflix and Disney Plus than over cable. The numbers were tipped ever so slightly in streaming's favor, with streaming services capturing 34.8% of total TV viewership versus 34.4% who did still watch cable. The rise of streaming services was partially why Blockbuster closed their stores back in 2014, if you remember. And while most have been closed for nearly a decade, Rich DeMiro visits the last Blockbuster store on the planet. Selfies outside, smiles inside. I'm having flashbacks of, the, of my youth. <laughs> this is the last Blockbuster, still operating today in Bend, Oregon. Everything is exactly the same as it was, you know, 20 years ago. Sandy Harding is general manager. The store still rents movies, but just DVDs. This was the setup. And it's even had. dusty, too, which, you know, you got to have a little Perfect. dust around it. Ironically, Bend is a city with an emphasis on outdoor activities. People a lot of times think it's because we have terrible Wi Fi. That must be why we don't have, we have a blockbuster still, which is not the case. All you have to do is step inside here for a minute, and the memories just come flowing right back. It is just like I remember. Rentals now just a small part of the overall business. Most people that come in want to relive the past, take pictures, and buy souvenirs. We're heading for the Oregon coast, but we made a detour just to get to this store. We love Blockbuster. There are these signature yellow walls, the return box, new release sign, candy, and a literal wall of VHS tapes. They're not all rewound, though. No, they're not, and he intentionally left them like that. I, I miss it, and I know millions of other people miss it. Alan Payne is author of Built to Fail. Just to put it in perspective, about half the population would be in a video store every week. Then alternatives came along, including DVDs by mail and kiosk. And it's interesting to note that Blockbuster was really in and really a broken company in, in dire financial conditions before Netflix ever started streaming. Blockbuster filed bankruptcy in 2010, just as streaming started to take off. Hey, thanks so much. Yeah, enjoy your week. All right, you too. While Friday night at the video store is becoming a distant memory, this is the place to bring it all back. The clerks are friendly, the computer's barely hanging on, and it's these hats and t-shirts that keep this bit of movie magic alive. I think we still have a couple more years left. In Bend, Oregon, I'm Rich DeMuro.